Be aware of the dangers of pride. Proverbs 16 and verse 18. Pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. As we've been talking about humility this week and walking in humility, we conclude by reminding us about the dangers of pride. The Bible has quite a few things to say, state about this. As we read in Proverbs, it says, Pride goes before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall. Pride leads us to this place of self-destruction and a fall. Pride is self-destructive. Nobody else has to do anything. It will automatically trigger our destruction and fall. When we walk with pride, we are thinking, I don't need God. I've made this through for, by myself. I'm self-dependent. I'm a self-made person. I can have all of this. I, I, I'm holding onto my position. I'm holding onto my status. I need everybody to pay attention to me because I'm so important. When we walk with pride, we are unwilling to listen to people. We are unwilling to take other people's input. Our, our self becomes very important. And when we walk in this manner, it's, go, it's going to lead us to destruction. The Bible also tells us in 1 Peter 5 and verse 5 that God resists the proud. You know, can you imagine this being in a place where God says, I want nothing to do with this person. Walking in pride puts us in a place where God says, I want nothing to do with this person. God resists the proud. He withdraws. He takes his hand away. He steps away from a person walking in pride. The Bible also tells us in 1 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 6 that if we are puffed up with pride, we fall into the same condemnation as the devil. Think about that. What was the condemnation of the devil? What was the judgment of the devil? He was banished from the very presence of God. And that's the same thing that pride does. When we are puffed up with pride, we come under the same judgment as the devil. That means God withdraws his presence. We have no more access into the presence of God. Pride keeps us away from the very presence of God. And lastly, in 1 John 2 verse 16, it says that all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. This pride of life, this, this thing that says, you know, I've made it, I can do this by myself. It is not of the Father, it is of the world. And all that is in the world will pass away. Everything that we hold on to in our pride, it will pass away. And he who does the will of God will remain, will stand. So be aware of the dangers of pride. We must guard against pride because pride is self-destructive. Pride causes us to lose the very presence of God. God himself resists the proud. Pride will lead us into things that are vain, things that will just pass away. There will be no lasting reward for things that are done out of pride. Let's stay away from pride. Let's continue to walk in humility before God. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you help us guard our hearts against pride. Help us, Lord, to walk in pure and true humility before you, that we may enjoy your presence, receive your empowering grace, dwell with you in your high and lofty place, in that place of immunity. Help us to walk, Lord, with humility, knowing that you will exalt us in due time. Give us this grace, we pray, in Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.